News 46 is brought to you by Dr. George Leakes, a Rumps optometrist since 1990, offering full spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. News 46 is also brought to you by Humana, serving the community. Please stop in at 1397 South Loop Road on the corner of Loop and Highway 160. Tonight on News 46, a corrupt man is arrested for animal cruelty. And fatal fires on the West Coast have crews stretched to their limits. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. A reptile expert examines what they say is a tortured desert tortoise. It's Monday, July 30th. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. A local man is arrested for felony animal cruelty charges after police search his home while conducting an arrest for a separate incident. Police say Philip Pang drilled holes into the shell of his pet desert tortoise so that he could tether the animal to his porch. Philip Pang has been arrested for assault with a deadly weapon on a vulnerable or older person, burglary, aiming a gun at a person, and animal cruelty times two. According to the Declaration of Arrest, Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies met with a victim who said that he was working at Donut Depot on Highway 372 when Philip Pang came into the business. He said that Pang was asking about a property in California. Shortly after the discussion about the property, Pang then removed a gun from his front waist, pointed it at the individual, and said, I want to kill you because it's your fault the owner is having problems with her property, according to the witness. The alleged victim asked Pang to leave the business. Pang then replied, according to police, I will kill you now then. Pang then allegedly pointed the firearm at the individual's head, and that's when he pushed Pang's arm up in the air. Pang then took a step backwards and rocked the slide, which would indicate chambering the round, according to police. The victim told police at that time Pang then sat down in one of the booths and kept the firearm pointed in the direction of the individual. After about two minutes, he stood up and began walking out of the business while continuing to aim the gun at the person. He then got onto his bicycle and rode away. On July 14th, deputies arrived at Pang's residence to retrieve the firearm and take him into custody. At that time, they found a desert tortoise in a bucket full of water on the back porch. Officers say that the water was approximately 7 to 10 inches deep in a plastic tub that the tortoise could not get out of. Officers say that the tortoise had a hole that appeared to be punctured in its shell. They also say that they saw a second location where there was a hole punctured in the tortoise's shell. There was also a long cord with a metal clasp at the end that was secured to the porch near the back door. Officers say that there was no shelter or burrow for the tortoise and the leash was kept tethered so it could only go partially into the yard. The tortoise was removed from the address and taken to a reptile specialist. The doctor said that one of the holes appeared to be healed and that the tortoise had to be in extreme pain when the hole was inserted into the shell. They also said that the water in the bucket that the tortoise was kept in was too deep and eventually it would have grown tired of trying to escape and drowned. During a full examination of the tortoise, the doctor said that there was injuries that appeared to be caused by the wearing down of the tortoise's skin from constantly trying to pull itself against the tension of the leash. Police interviewed Pang regarding the tortoise, and he allegedly admitted that he drilled the holes in the tortoise's shell with a power drill in order to attach the leash. Pang also stated that the first hole began to grow larger and fracture over time, and that he filled that with epoxy after drilling the second hole. Philip Pang was arrested and taken to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. And over 15,000 people have been ordered to evacuate from two intense wildfires in Northern California. The twin fires in Mondesino and Lake Counties flared up late Sunday, forcing new evacuations. The fires have been blamed for injuring seven firefighters. Those fires were among the 17 burning across the state. As of Monday, the fire had destroyed 723 homes. The fires have so far scorched more than 200,000 acres across the state.
The car fire, which erupted in Shasta County a week ago and spread into the city of Reading, grew to 98,724 acres and was 20 percent contained as of this morning. That fire had destroyed close to 1,000 structures and claimed six lives, including a fire inspector, a bulldozer operator, a great-grandmother, and her two great-grandchildren. Two other deaths have been attributed to the Ferguson fire near Yosemite. Officials say there are at least 18 missing persons reports. Well, here's Angela Miles with today's Business First Brief. Tapping our news, tech on a tear to one trillion. Wall Street analysts are now counting on Amazon to become the first trillion dollar tech company. Amazon reported a blowout earnings for the second quarter, sending the stock surging to a market cap of around $909 billion. Apple is also edging closer to the trillion dollar market cap with a value of $946 billion. Apple reports earnings on Tuesday. Twitter is losing market cap and users. The social media network admits the user count dropped by 1 million and there may possibly be millions more. Twitter is cracking down on phony users known as bots or spam accounts. Still, the company turned a profit for the third quarter in a row. Revenue came in at $711 million. Thanks, Angela. And we'll tell you about another wildfire burning here in Nevada right after this break.